Hello everyone, this is Daryl20, and welcome to episode 62 of Daryl20's Let's Play series. Woohoo! Where, uh, today... What was I gonna do today? All right, we were gonna set up our material stonework factory. That's right. Uh, last episode, we got through some industrial foregoing prereqs. Uh, there's a bunch of cool things we can do with industrial foregoing, like tons and tons and tons of automation. Uh, and it's possible that some of that will happen throughout the series, or not, we'll find out. There's just all kinds of cool stuff we can make with it. Uh, there's a bunch of kinds of different reactors. Uh, you can you can automate a bunch of things. Uh, there's a bunch of mob stuff that's really nice to have. Um, just all kinds of good stuff. And, and lasers, we should look at lasers. Uh, let's do a quick health check of our base, right? How's our power going? Zero input. I guess who's probably out of uranium again? How did I guess? How did I guess I was out of uranium? It's the only non-renewable resource. Well, technically so is fluorite. How are we doing on fluorite, by the way? Eh, I mean, it's been better. Uh, so yeah, we should probably hop in here. And, and, and when I was looking at the laser, that's when I was like, you know what? It's a good point. It's a good point. Where did I leave my digital miner? Oh, I remember. Ports. That's where I left it, in the nether fortress. How are you doing? Are you done? You are done. Good job. How are we for quartz now? We're great on quartz. Exactly the amount we thought we would get, right? Perfect. Uh, so we should probably uh, jump back to our mining dimension. Look at us just bouncing dimensions left and right. Um, what I'm going to do is plop over to here, because we never did mine the uranium from this node. Um, but we pop that guy down there, and we should just do it. And then I also want to config new tag filter uh, for forge ores fluorite. Is that going to be a... Yeah, that looks like it works. Flowerite ore. Perfect. All right, start. Hey, look at all the ores we've got to mine there. That's exciting. All right, so you go there and you should in theory also have uranium to catch yep there was some so we'll get some uranium from this and some fluorite and for now the digital miner will help us out now in agreement with that we also might be able to get fluorite from digital miners or no uh no it doesn't look like it although we might be able to get the fluorite ore from the yes laser drill so the laser drill from industrial foregoing is a way to basically create infinite resources um it is a it is a block that will automatically mine resources for you. And it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Okay, that's interesting. So uh, we will look at doing that. Like basically you point it at bedrock and it generates ores just with power. So at some point we may look at doing that for things that we need just nigh unlimited amounts of like fluorite and uranium. Because clearly we're not keeping up. We are clearly not keeping up with that stuff. <laughs> But for today, we were going to look at, uh, you guessed it, cobble works. And here's what I think I'm going to do. I'm going to put my cobble works inside my compact machine. Doesn't that sound cool? Yeah. Yeah, it does. So inside of this nifty little compact machine here, we could throw our cobble works section over here. So let's first start with the material stonework factory, okay? He's going to need some power. Um, now I'm debating whether I want to connect to this network of logistics lasers or set up a new one. I'm leaning towards set up a new one leaning towards set up a new one. So how about on the down, you get an insert item card. Get me some more energies because clearly we need more of those bad boys. There we go. And then on the up, you can have an extract with a flux point. Beautiful. Power, good, go. So here's how the machine works, okay? It's pretty straightforward. Uh, first off, you need uh, a bucket of water and a bucket of lava. Uh, and you can see the water and lava tanks indicated here and how to insert them. Um, you can choose what you're generating. So if you want to generate cobble, you need to have one bucket of water and one bucket of lava, and it will not consume either of those things. It will consume zero water and zero lava. If you want to generate netherrack, you need this much of stuff, and it'll consume that much of stuff. So if you want to make netherrack, you have to keep feeding it more and more water and lava, okay? Granite, same deal. Obsidian, same deal. Andesite, diorite, cobblestone, etc. So these are the base materials that you can make, okay? We're going to stick with cobblestone. From there, we can either smelt, crush, or craft in a 2x2, two two, or craft in a 3x3, three three, or do nothing. 
And what'll happen is it'll progress down the line. So if we're making cobblestone and then we smelt it, it'll turn into stone. And then if we smelt it again, it'll turn into smooth stone. Or we can cobblestone, smelt it into stone, two by two it into bricks. Cool? Yeah, it is cool. Thank you very much. Uh, so what I'm thinking is maybe we make a couple of these material stonework factories so that we can uh, do a couple things. Because let's come up with a list of what we'd want, right? We want cobblestone. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Zoinks. Uh, and you know what else we should do while we're here? Before we get into this, I would like to get the speed and efficiency upgrades and whatnot, because that'll help us do a lot more too. So if we look at foregoing, and is it is it called upgrade? No. Uh, efficiency add-ons. Add-ons is what they're called. Um, cool. So you get your range add-ons all the way up to 13, but then you have add-on speed tier one and tier two, and I want tier two because tier two is better. So there's processing, efficiency, and speed. Um, I'm a little uh, fuzzy on the difference. I know something, something, they're different in some regard. We can check in the book. Add-ons. Uh, so speed increases how much the progress bar advances every tick. So normally the progress bar goes up by one per tick. It adds one or adds two with tier two. So it'll go up three steps per tick. Okay, efficiency decreases the amount of ticks needed to complete an operation. So it goes, you know, not only will the bar move faster, but it'll need to get not as high in order to run. And then processing increases the amount of operations done when a machine finishes operating. So if it would normally do one thing, it could do two or three things all in the same action. So all three of these lead to faster machine operations. So we're gonna want all three, okay? So let's get all of those added here. So you're gonna be just a recipe that looks like this. That's not bad. And that'll get you your add-on speed tier two, your efficiency tier two needs blaze rods, and then your processing tier two needs a furnace. Do you not know how to make furnaces? You do not. So let's get you added. This is one of the few things I can't do remotely is, is get the whole, uh, the whole thing set up properly. So furnaces go in there, you go into there, and then you get these guys. So get me a couple add-ons. Let's get like, you know, 10. Let's go with five of each, right? So that's speed, start. This is processing, start. Oh, we need more, we need more buckets. Uh, that's right, they needed a bucket each, didn't they? Well, luckily I have a friend who can help me out with that. Yes, sir, I do. And not for nothing, we can use these add-ons here. And in here. So, you know. What if I just got two of you? And I assume you two also need a couple buckets. Wow, he needs more power. <laughs> Is this like an extract speed problem here? Oh, too late to find out. Okay, so if you're operating this way, so see how it's running and it starts around the 40 out of 100. So if I put a Efficiency, is it? It needs less. So yeah, now it's around 30 is where it starts, right? It was 20% less, so I think it's starting at 32 rather than 40 now. And then if I put a speed in there, it's going to progress three steps at a time. And then finally, processing at a time means it'll get 36 operations rather than 12. So it triples the output, right? So this increases your output. This makes the bar move faster. This makes the bar not to need to be moved as much. Okay, so we've got a bunch of speed. So let's get three more um, processing and efficiencies, right?
And this machine can also get the same, you know, set up as well. That's cool. Beautiful. So now if we, um, you know, what I think I'm going to do is on the down here, I'm going to increase your number to 10 buckets. I want you to hang on to 10 buckets at a time. Uh, but let's add you guys to all these guys. Now we're making lots of latex. Look how much, wow, that's a lot faster now. That is cool. And the same processing can happen here. So let's do this. Let's set you to no action. Does this click louder than normal or is it just me? Why does this click seem so loud in these machines? Um, so let's get ourselves a bucket of lava and water. Luckily I can auto craft these. See, that's the click noise I would expect. The other click noise is very loud. Cool, so now he's producing cobblestone and he will do nothing, okay? Um, if we wanted him to smelt, then he would do cobblestone and then smelt. And each operation, he would make a new cobble. Well, no, I think he cobble, he generates. And then if there's something there, it looks like he does stone. Okay, cool. So let's throw a efficiency tier in there. So that means less progressing needed, I think. That seems a little faster. Speed should help. Oh yes, much better. And then processing. So now he can do three steps at once, it looks like, which is cool. All right, nice, not bad. All right, and then what we might want to do from there is a two by two craft, right? That sounds cool. I like that. Okay, so now that you're doing that, so what happens is it is it completes the stone bricks, then it completes the stone, and then it goes there, right? So I'm thinking we have two of these, one, let's review what we want, right? We want cobble, we want stone, and then we want bricks. Do we have a need for like smoothie stony stuff? I don't think so. And I don't think, I haven't seen a large need for that, right? Okay. Uh, and then in addition, we want gravel and sand. Is there like a cool way to get clay from this? Not that we don't have a lot of clay already, but like... Does the stonework factory have anything with clay? Do you tell me what you can make like all around? Uh, that, 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 that. Oh, so you only showed me that. Oh no, here we go. Um, there's a bunch of things we can make here. We can make slag. That's neat. Um, we could make glass. Glass would not be a bad idea. I like glass for sure. We should absolutely do glass. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Oh, we can make silicon? That's kind of cool. We should add that to the to-do. We should absolutely add that to the to-do. How do we get silicon? It's just, it just break, break, break. Okay. That might have to be its own thing, but we could do that. I don't think we have to worry about sandstone. Um, I don't think we need any nether stuff. Yeah, so I think this is the list of things we want. So the machine I currently have will handle these three. So I'm gonna call them done. The next machine I want to handle these. So let's get another stonework factory. If I control click this, it should be able to make all the things I need, including this machine over here. See, he inserts latex. I should really get more add-ons. Because it's so slow. Go, Adams, go. Boom, boom. Oh my goodness, that's not what at all I wanted to have happen. Better, right? Add on, add on, add on. Sweet. Yeah, that should be good. All right. Um, so yeah, we want another stonework. We might need two of these. Okay. 
I'm going to put you away. So that'll be you. And then if we come over here and request stuff now, you should be a lot quicker. Are you already done? It's possible. Oh, there it goes. Oh, yeah. Look how much faster that is. It's beautiful. So good. That is definitely better. Perfect. Okay. Um, so realistically, you guys only need power? No, because I'm going to do stuff with items in a minute. I'm going to do stuff with items in a minute. So we're going we're gonna to stick with this. Boom, boom. Yeah, since when do you accept multiples? Boop, boop, and boop. Boop, boop, and boop. There you go. Sweet. And then on the down energy, and on the down energy. And uh, I don't think we have a way to get buckets of lava. If I'm not mistaken. I'm so used to just having this on my on my bar here. Okay, that works for me. We'll just throw a couple in there, and at some point we could automate it. I think you guys have a good idea of how we would automate that, right? There's probably a half a dozen ways. So give me two buckets of water, courtesy of my water automation. Okay, boom, 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 boom. Now you, I would like to do nothing. And you guys too. Okay. Perfect. I don't know how we got rock wool, but I did something. All right, so you're making cobble for me. So this one we want to be crush, crush, smelt. How's that sound? Yeah, I like that. And then you're gonna be crush, crush, crush. And that'll get me silicon. Beautiful. There you go. Uh, and then as a reminder, this will eventually get me to sand, gravel, and cobble. All we have to do is wait for the glass to back stuff, right? So as soon as we have enough glass here, he'll back stuff on sand, and then he'll back stuff on gravel. And this leads me to another interesting question. Can we stack these add-ons? Or is it just like a bug that it's accepting more than one? Efficiency, processing, speed. Let's choose a speed one here. Um, and we can do the same for processing, I guess, too. I'm just curious if we'll have a noticeable difference having two of these in the same machine. Because that would be kind of cool. Does that feel faster? Oh, no, put it in there. Oh, and it won't let me put it in there? But processing... It's three at a time and still three at a time. So it lets me put an extra in there, but it doesn't seem to actually do anything. So that's good to know. See? So now we've got cobblestone bricks, we've got cobble, gravel, sand, glass, and we've got silicon. Beautiful. Now, let's get a functional storage way to store these bad boys. I'm thinking one of these. Yes? Uh, well, technically, two of these? Yeah? Okay, and what I'm thinking we could do is you, you, and you technically, and then I would throw the silicon in there as well. Okay, and then you guys would be gravel, sand, and glass. And I don't think there's anything else we wanted, right? So that should be cool. Um, Let's get a, do we want a controller? Yeah, we want a controller. Storage controller, boom. And then we're gonna want these guys. You're gonna get locked and locked. You're gonna be linked to you and you. And then you will have an item insert card. And on the down, we want an item extract card.
And what I'm probably going to want is some speed upgrades for these guys. Um, because I want them to operate quickly. Not so many items at a time, but more than once a second. Because what's going to happen is we will just keep pulling the sand out because it takes a second for it to make sand and a second for this guy to be able to run without an overclocker, right? So we, on the down, we say you get overclocked and then boom, sweet. And now what should be happening is we're filling up on sand and that's fine. Because remember, it can do three operations at once. So those three operations are I'm making cobble, I'm making gravel, I'm making sand all in the same tick because of the efficiency upgrade. Okay, or the production upgrade or whatever that one is. So then you down will also extract, um, boom. And then you on the down will also extract, perfect. So now what we find ourselves getting is it's gonna fill up on sand and it's probably filling up on Stone? Yeah, smooth stone. But remember, because these are 4x4 four four drawers, they hold 512 items each. Okay, now let's get ourselves an external storage. And some cables. And if we look, we should now see sand. Now I want this guy to be a highish priority. So uh, priority should be five. And you'll notice that I didn't put void upgrades in these because I need backstuffing. We rely on backstuffing. What's going to happen is we're going to get sand to backstuff here in a second. And that would probably be you, right? So let's speed this up a sec. And at some point, sand is going to backstuff. Okay. That'll be in about a second or two. Or that's actually, I'm, I'm taking accelerating the wrong one. What am I taking accelerating here? Well, cobblestone back stuff, so that's cool. So smooth stone is what's coming in now. And now we're getting bricks. Cool. And then you're going to... Why are you guys out of power? Oh, because you're probably just demanding so darn much of it. Yep, that'll do, right? So now smooth stones back stuffing, and then the same thing's gonna happen here with sand in a second, right? Sand is gonna back stuff, and then it'll probably move on to glass, would be my guess, right? Once this guy's sand back stuffs. So see how he's going to glass now? So we're getting like two glass every two iterations, I think, something like that. Long story short, backstuffing is important for this design, right? So, you know, do the thing. Now, if we look in here, we'll see that we've got our sand. We've got our glass coming in. Uh, we've got our silicon being kept in stock, right? We've got our bricks, 512. Perfect. Perfect. And anytime I decide to snag those, we just, it just, we're good, right? I'm like, hey, I need some bricks. Boom. And then I can put them back. And if we have a few extra, it's not a big deal. They'll just be sitting in the in the thing. And then if I need, uh, yeah, see, it keeps it at 512. It's pretty cool, right? That's awesome. So yeah, I wouldn't want to void upgrade these, right? We'll just let the refined storage system get a few extra. Never hurts to have a little bit more glass and sand and cobble, right? If it ever became a problem where we had like tens of thousands of it, and that was a big deal, then we would solve that problem, right? So I think we'd be fine. And just like that, we're fully backstuffed. A little tick accelerating later. 512, 512, 512, 512, 512, 512, 512, all 512. Boom. That is cool. I like it. I like it. I approve. Material Stonework Factory is still just as cool as ever. It's nice because it's all in one block, right? Like, obviously, there's better, different ways to do it if you want to make something more complicated. Create would be a super fun way to do this. If you're looking to challenge yourselves with Create and come up with, you know, A, learn how to do more with Create, uh, and B, like just build some giant monstrosity to make something like this, Create would 100% be able to do everything we just did here. Uh, you would just need to build it much bigger. So if you're looking to learn Create, that would be my recommendation to you. So that's cool. 
Look, we have plenty of room inside this compact machine still. All right, so what do we got next? That is a question. That is absolutely a question. Our input FE is at zero again. What do we run out of? Let me guess. Uranium. Yep. Completely out of uranium again. Boop, 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 boop. Maybe we should look at those lasers today, huh? Would that be a bad idea? I don't think so. But lasers need the weather thing, don't they? The lasers need the weather thing? I believe they do. Oh, you're still focusing on getting me uranium. So we actually have a lot more uranium to get. Oh, you know what? Ha! Chunk loading. Chunk loading. I'll remember that one of these days. There's your problem. There's your problem. I'm like, why, why, why did you make such little progress in this whole? Oh, right. You didn't make any progress because when I left, you stopped. Chunk loading's a thing. Gonna have to remember that. So, but no, um, you know, lasers might not be a bad idea. Uh, so foregoing lasers, uh, there's the ore laser base and the ore laser drill. Yes. That guy needs that. Or laser base needs advanced machine frames, or laser drill needs simple machine frames. Really? What do we need supreme machine frames then for? Oh, uh, the weather stuff. Okay. And some supreme hold. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, I thought we would need the supreme machine frame, which needs ether gas, which is its own production line thing. But I think we can pull this off. Uh, laser drill and laser or or laser base. Let me remember exactly which one. I need four of one and one of the other. So let's make sure. Laser drill charges the first or laser base and fluid laser base that it finds in its working area. Okay. Um, so that means we want one or laser base and four or laser drills. One or laser base and four or laser drills. Or laser base and four or laser drills. Okay. One or laser base needs some iron ore and that's it. And then technically we can have more of those. I think we can have 48. Is that math correct? I think we have 48 of those in the end if we needed to. But, you know, we'll start with four and we'll go from there. Uh, we're going to need a silk touch. Uh, I have my little mining laser can silk touch, right? Yes. Uh, toggle on silk touch. Thank you. Let's go find some iron. And I'm pretty sure iron doesn't get extracted in any way. Like nothing's auto processing iron for me. Don't touch back to fortune. You guys can all go away. And also, let's put you away. Let's clean up inventory for a sec. Not sure if I need laser IO stuff for what I'm about to do. Probably will. Might not hurt. We'll find out. Do that stuff. Cool. Good enough. Pretty neat and tidy. Wonder if the ore laser works inside the compact machines dimension. Does it need to see bedrock? That's a question that I honestly don't know the I, I mean, a lot of times those things do, but does it say it in here? Each of the laser lenses increase the weight of the produced ore. I mean, it doesn't say it needs to see bedrock, right? It doesn't say it needs to see bedrock. Okay, we'll find out. Uh, so ore laser base, start. Bada bing, bada boom. You should be making a bunch of things now for me. And what I would also like to do uh, is lenses. What color, what, what lenses will I want? Uh, so all these lenses are made where? In the dissolution chamber, is that right? Or we take a white lens and we can recolor it. So let's teach it how to make a white laser lens in the dissolution chamber. Or maybe a blue laser lens in the dissolution chamber. That might not be bad because, you know that do you know how to make blue dye i feel like lapis we have more of than than not
Now I'm pretty sure we're gonna need another crafter in there because I think the dissolution chamber is full. It is. So let's get another crafter. And while we're at it, make five more of those. It doesn't hurt to have a few on hand. And into the compact machines dimension we go. Okay. Um, crafter go here. New thingy go here. Give me like a dozen of those, because I forget how many we need, but I feel like it might be six. Okay, now if I want uranium, or, uh, or this uranium ore, or this uranium ore, does uranium ore not have a lens? Uranium ore berry bush, that's cool. I don't have a recipe though. Uh, uranium, fine uranium chunk. That's a bummer. It's a bummer. I thought we checked for this and it did. I remember we saw Flowerite had it, right? Yeah, Fluorite ore has it. I thought all ores automatically got it. Eh. Eh. Those are the only two uranium ores that we got? Huh. Well. That puts a damper in my plans, doesn't it? Oh, no, we can get it from, we can get uranium chunks from the laser drill. Okay, that works, that works, that works. So we're gonna need a lime laser lens. Lime dye. Okay. Like I said, I'm pretty sure I need about six of these and they don't stack. Two, three, four, five, six. Let's see if this works in this dimension, shall we? So you guys and one of you. Pretty sure I want you here. That's your ore laser base. And this guy receives power from adjacent lenses, right? So if we want raw uranium chunks, your best bet for finding those, um, nether waste, basalt, deltas, warped forest crimson. Oh, you only work in the nether? Is that what I'm seeing? Blacklisted biomes, none. Five to 29 with a weight of five in those biomes. Next rarity information. Uh, I guess we'll see what happens. So by applying the lenses, it makes it more likely to get what we want, I believe. Um, and then the laser drills have a working area, which we can see by doing this. I thought. I guess your show working area isn't working. Ha. But that's the gist. Okay. Uh, so let's get you some power. Now I think you're probably going to... Ah, yeah, you're right. You need to be... Here. Can I rotate you with this wrench? There you go. All right, everybody's happy. You see a target, you know you're good, okay? So we'll start with, it's interesting, wait one in any biome except the end, but wait five in the nether biomes. So we might try that just to see if we get more. 
That's what I would expect. Let's get some universal cables because all we need is energy for these guys. Uh, so I'm not going to do laser IO for this and a flux point. I've got some of them. Bring it in. No limit. All right. So you guys should be running. And he's building up progress. Okay. And as soon as he gets progress filled up all the way, he will produce an ore. Right. Now you said that your optimal here was between 5 and 29. So let's go with 20. And we can also do the add on stuff with these guys. Right. So. Didn't I always have like the exact same number of add-ons for everything? So why am I short an add-on? I don't know. But so he can do, you know, the exact same thing. Can he accept add-ons? That's a question. He can accept processing and efficiency, which makes sense. He probably just doesn't need to go as high. See, now he's down to 80 instead of 200. So that's what efficiency did, I assume. Um, and hey, we did get uranium chunk, so that's cool. The question is, will we get more uranium chunks by running this in the nether or no? It's an exceedingly good question. One that I don't really have an answer to. I guess we'll find out. Cool. All right. So now we got a fluorite. So that's nice. 100% what I wanted. Missing a diamond. Missing a diamond. We also got silver. We also got emerald. Okay. So what I'm going to do is let this run. And get me myself some more diamonds. Tag. Forge or diamond, save, back, start. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. Making progress. I don't know if we can let this thing run again, but it might not be a bad idea. Yeah, he can run too if he wants. Meh, we'll just wait. All right, let's go back into here. And what I'd like to see is, can I get two of these now? Yes, beautiful. And then back into the little world. Sweet. All right. And then we should have the other two, two, and two ready to go. So you're done. You get them. And then you get them. And then that should have this thing moving pretty quick. So you'll notice what happens is basically the lenses give you a better chance of getting what you're looking for. So we can see the snapshot here like, yeah, we're getting uranium a little bit more than the other resources, but we're still getting a lot of the other resources. I feel like if we move this into the nether, maybe that would be better. All right, now I'm pretty sure we can also have this guy push to the up, right? So if we had output up push, nice, that works. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you Yes, one, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, barely fits, barely fits. But I can put away my laser IO wrench. I don't need him at a, the exact moment or my mining gadget or you. Lots of things we don't need. Okay, let's pop into the nether and find one of those whitelisted biomes. Uh, so it is nether wastes, basalt deltas, one of the forests or a soul sand valley. Let's bring um, a waystone. I think we can do this real easily. Another fortress? Yeah. I feel like this might be Soul Sand Valley. Is this cool? This works, right? 
Let's do this and let's get our mining gadget. I just want to be somewhere that's like relatively in encased and not wanting explodies. Cool. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then ender bag, go away, go away. That's cool. And then you can be my laser miner. So let's see what happens here, right? So if I did this, 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 and this. And then we had our ore laser base here with his two upgrades. Wow, not that. And then we had, yes, I know Solo. Uh, you can go here. You can get this. We'll configure that you're still output push on top. Actually, don't push yet. Just enabled. Uh, and then laser drill. You with upgrades. Am I crazy or did something weird happen here? Oh, I see. Sure. And then you're good? Okay, good. Shift click is obviously a little bit weird there. There you go. So now you've got a target. You've got a no target bound. Yeah, just validate that it has targets. And white particle effects also help. Yep, he's working. He's good. He's good. Okay, and then just power. Okay, and then our flux point. Zoinks. And then we find out how we make out. Well, we got some glowstone, so yeah, that's... Oh, our depth is wrong. Uh, we want a depth of, in this biome, which is Soul Sand Valley, matches up here. Uh, we want a depth of 5 to 29. So I'm going to go with 20. Is that cool? Maybe 5 is what I'm going to want to go with. Guess we'll find out. So far, I haven't been super lucky. 10? I'm, I'm just randomly guessing now. I don't know which, what the ideal optimal would be. And you've got your lime laser lenses, which should be cool. See? Lime laser lens. White listed biome soul sand. With a min Y of 5 and a max Y of 29. And it should have a weight of 5, so that means it should be producing a lot of it. Now, with Minecraft RNG, so we can't say for sure that it's not as good as it was in the Compact Machines biome. Uh, but we're definitely getting, you know, a lot of other junk that I wasn't expecting to. I'll set you to push. Some more uranium coming in. I think it's fine. It's one option, right? Now, how much RF is this costing me? That bad. Not that bad. And we can absolutely put more lasers down. So we'll consider that. But I think it's wrapping up point for the episode. So for now, Dowel 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We now have a way back and forth if we decide. Uh, we'll come back next time. And the plan is I want to check out Elemental Craft. Because that sounds like fun to me. Uh, but obviously making sure that we keep our power up and running. Probably a good idea. All right, everyone. Take it easy.